Okay, folks, I have got a dandy of a typewriter here for you today. By the way, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Welcome to the video. And if you're not familiar with us, please visit our website. It's down below. And as we're getting started, please just take a second to like that video and subscribe. Also, if you are a subscriber on YouTube, you are the first ones to find out when the new listings are up. Most weeks they sell out immediately. Every once in a while we have a week where it's quiet. And actually this is one of those weeks, which is very odd, but it happens, it ebbs and flows. But I would say 90% of the time our typewriters sell out within 24 to 48 hours. So if you see something you like and you wanna be the first one to know about it, then you need to subscribe somewhere over here to the channel, okay? Get notifications. All right, so I have a travel typewriter here for you. And as you know in the description, this is a Hermes, Hermes Rocket. And you can see how thin it is, even with the metal case. All right, this is great for travel, great for small spaces, or if you're going off to college, or something like that, and you need to haul your typewriter around if you're part of a writing group, anything like that. Okay, to take off the cover, you just press on these two knobs right here. Oh, great. Here we go. It's a tight fit. Open it up. And like I said, this is a 1954 Hermes Rocket. Now, before you can use it, you need to unfold your little handle. And it's teeny tiny right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. As you can tell, and I'll lift it up for you a bit, and we have up close images on our website. You can see there is some, there is some wear on this. Obviously it's 1954, but it's still a great little typewriter and we did not want to repaint it. Um, you can barely see the rocket, but rocket is in red and then there's a red um line right there okay so let's go ahead and start in the back area right here is your margins press and drag now these little travel typewriters they just don't have a lot of bells and whistles to it it's just really basic um that's actually the, um your carriage release and your paper release i believe um Maybe there's not a paper release on it, but that's your carriage. This is gonna be your line selector. There we go. One, two, and you could hear the bell. The bell works pretty decently. So, and then to get inside, these this is a bat wing escapement area. So you just fold these out like that for me i was looking at it from above don't you think it looks like a gremlin those of you who are old enough to know i think it looks like a gremlin okay or maybe yoda maybe yoda something like that okay this one just takes a single color ribbon so we've put in an all black ribbon the nice thing is is when you're done with this with the ribbon you can just flip it over and use the bottom side of that ribbon um, when it is time to change out your ribbon, please be sure you have it threaded through um, properly. And so I do have an up close image of that. It's at the, if you can find it at the product listing link, which is in the description below. This is a new ribbon. All of our typewriters come with a new ribbon. It's going to last you a long time. Okay, so one thing I forgot to check before I started this video is where the ribbon reversal was. So hang on one second. Okay, found it. So the ribbon reversal is a little lever. Let me close this and see if I can show it to you since this is a little guy. Can you see this? It is right here. Okay, so you just press back and forth. 
So the ribbons we use do not have an auto reverse function on them. So you will need to manually reverse your ribbon and it'll last you a long time. So when, like I said, when it's at the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink, just reverse the direction and just go back and forth dozens of times. If you do need new ribbon, please visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com and we have a variety of ribbon options. Okay, let's close this. Take a look here is your backspace. This is probably your margin release. We'll check that out here in a second or tab. I'm not sure, we'll find out. I doubt there's no tab set, so it's not a tab. And then your shift and your shift lock. All right, let's go ahead and load some paper and do some typing. You just take regular paper and you set it right here. Turn the handle, it'll pull that right through. And then make sure that um, comes up nice and even, which it does, yay. Which is good, because I don't know where the paper release is. All right, so this is a 1954, so we're gonna use the lowercase L for our one, 1954. Hermes Rocket. Wow, this is really easy to use. And that's the only thing I really don't like about travel typewriters is the handles are just so, they're so tiny. But if you're on the go, this is a really handy, let's see what this is, typewriter. I bet that's margin release. Oops. So as you can tell, the keys on this are completely different than the green rocket that most people are familiar with. This has a, um, and this is Cricut, I'm so sorry. These are the keys that are very um, common on an older Royal, like from the 40s, the black round keys. And they're kind of fun to type on. Sometimes you'll see them on like the, uh, K series, like the KCM or KM, I can never remember what they are. So these remind me of Royal Keys. So this is the typewriter before the green one that most of you are familiar with. Um, just a few years before, I believe it was around 60 that that green Hermes rocket, uh, came out. So it types very, very easy, um, but it does like a heavier hand. Oh, when you make a mistake, backspace. Okay, there's the bell. I'm gonna keep going to see if this is the margin release. Surely, surely. Okay. So this is very easy to type. Nice bounce back. But it's does prefer um, uh, hard hitting. So um, 
because it is, like I said, it's so easy. Even if you have smaller hands, you can do it, but you need to pound these keys pretty well. Um, it really likes a heavy hand. Heavy hand, okay? So we'll do a couple exclamation points. And for those of you, if you notice, there's no exclamation point on this keyboard. So how do you do it? Do a couple periods, backspace a couple times. Here's your apostrophe. And you have yourself an exclamation point. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. A copy of a photo of this type of page will be on the website. Also, you'll be able to see at the top when I was kind of just using normal pressure versus the heavier hand down here, you'll see a big difference and uh, why I said you need a heavier hand for this typewriter. But it types wonderfully. You're gonna be very happy with it. And if you're someone who collects Hermes or you like to travel, this is a great one for you. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching.